update. Uh, we had a bit of news out 10 hours ago, so we're going to have a quick look at that announcement about the audit uh, and also about uh, tentative launch time. So let's have a quick look. I've modeled it out on our price chart. Here we are in the night view for Axion. Pretty nice uh, on the auction page. There's the staking page. There's the claim page. Pretty nice. And of course, you can go to daylight. And there we are. I love it. I think this is really polished. So even though we've got a little bit of an extension in time uh, due to uh, first the test note and then due to the second audit, uh, it is creating a real air of confidence uh, and it's exciting times. Let's have a quick look at the price chart as we go. So here we are on the price chart. Let's have a quick look at the news. I'll just pop that up quickly. So the news was hijack. I was talking with the team and the report will be issued. So this is from the audit team. I was talking with uh, the team and the report will be issued on Monday. So I've modeled that here. I'll show you in a second. Closes to completion. Uh, so that's basically done. I said it would probably take a day or two in my video yesterday. Uh, this is just the way the, the real world works. We should have a clarity on mainnet launch by Wednesday. So we should have clarity on mainnet launch by Wednesday. So let's have talk about that a little bit. So as in previous videos, I've had the two orange dates, but the two orange lines being the 10 day audit. Okay, uh, so we've got here the 14th and then running through to the 23rd and the comet was up to 10 days. Obviously we passed 10 days uh, and then we're in the current day is today, the 20, 20, uh, 25th, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, so that's where we are. And we have got that update 10 hours ago. So it's pretty close to what I said, probably a day or so uh, around the audit. They got an update. So the update will be out tomorrow and that's this, this broken orange line. So that will be the update. So this hard orange line was the initial date of the, the audit, but obviously real world things happen. This will be the uh, final date for the audit, which is tomorrow. Okay, so the 26th of October. Uh, so what that means is that the original uh, uh, launch go live. Uh, so that was supposed to be five days, one, two, three, four, five days. So around about the 28th, 29th uh, was the expected launch date. Uh, so it takes five days to ramp up the dev set. So we're holding to that that logic. So now what we've done is that uh, because uh, the twenty eighth is Wednesday, that is when uh, the orders will give clar clarity uh, to the Axiom team about uh, mainnet. So we're assuming there are no issues, then and we're assuming the stall there's a five day ramp up, then that moves it out to one, two, three, four. Five moves it up to the 2nd of November as the launch time. Now the team may launch uh, earlier, probably on the 1st of November. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, presumably there's no major audit issues. If they were, they'll get the final order on Monday, which is tomorrow. They'll have two days to digest, digest that. Presumably if, if any issues had been raised, they may have been raised uh, in dialogue during this 10 day period as well, which of course extended out. Uh, to 12 days so far um, so that gives you a bit of idea of where where the launch is, is coming out um, I'm presuming uh, uh, so that's without evidence that uh, the audit will be fine uh, because we've already had other audits so uh, if anything uh, there shouldn't be any issues uh, so that would make uh, the first or second uh, or third somewhere in that uh, the launch time so uh, this is tentative and it's all in my own opinion based on the announcements. So it's not official Axiom uh, information, but this is my assessment. And hopefully the structure helps you uh, make it, uh, you know, helps you with your view of the Axiom project. Now, obviously this is sort of my project, my price prediction and it's pretty much gone to, 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 to fruition. Uh, we had a beautiful peak in price. Look at that beautiful spike there uh, yesterday. 24th and it got up to triple zero two seven beautiful uh, so still bullish accent action I think people can appreciate that the audit needs to be done uh, and that all the dots and you know T's need to be crossed uh, for launch because once we're in launch everyone's going to forget that you know uh, the test net and the second audit and they're going to be thankful say hey we've got an even better project so uh, it's been really thoroughly thought about and then we'll have the launch uh, around the first second third of November probably uh, if it all goes well with the order. 
So uh, once again, uh, we've also had Hex has been pumping. Uh, it just continues to rise. Uh, solid project um, bodes well for, and so is uh, Bitcoin, bodes well for Axiom launch. Remember Axiom has the, the market buybacks, 80% of the Ethereum will be used to buy back Axiom off the market uh, as opposed to the Hex project. Um, so really positive differences and we're going to see how those play out in the market but uh, buybacks are normally a great thing for the price, especially on this scale. So you can see that uh, Hex even went up to uh, a new all-time high of uh, 00812 US cents. So trying to get up towards that one cent mark. I know that uh, the better off Hex players are, the better off Axiom will be because of the free claim, a Hex free claim onto Axiom. Uh, so that's huge. And uh, the, the more money, the better goes around, right? So uh, you want those money drivers. And of course, Ax uh, uh, Hex users also benefit from the uni uh, uh, Air, airdrop, which was huge. They all got a couple thousand dollars each, uh, somewhere between typically twelve hundred and and four thousand, four four and a half thousand, depending on when they sold the the, the uni coins. Some still have them, of course. Uh, so you got all that money flushing around, uh, and you got big payday for uh, for hex coming up on the nineteenth of November. Uh, so that's huge too. And the end of the auction lobby on the seventeenth of November for memory. So it's two days difference. So uh, it's counting down the 25th of October, so huge. Which puts us back into Axion. Uh, exciting times coming ahead for this, and I'm sure that you guys are loving where it's going, and you can see that the team's, well, the team is moving forward, and we're moving towards this awesome launch time, uh, which is not far away in the scheme of things. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, another day analysis and a restructure based on the information at hand. Uh, please subscribe, like and share and hit the bell notifications and I will catch you all in the next one. Cheers.